One of the finest moments I've ever seen on cable news was when Joe Scarborough took Chris Matthews to task for his over-the-top allegiance to Obama. You know what? Uh, I want to do everything I can to make this thing work, this new presidency work. And I think that is the that successful your job? model you just is, talked about yeah, that is my job. You said so your job, job is to help this country is to make this presidency work. Uh, um, it's to make this work successfully because this country needs a successful presidency more than anything right now. Even by the non-journalistic standards of cable news, that vastly lowers the bar. Unfortunately, Scarborough's scrutiny was not so sharp when it mattered most. His nightly show Scarborough Country ran from April 2003 through June 2007. In all those episodes over four years, the only time he ever mentioned the aluminum tubes was on January 26, 2005, and only because he was defending Condoleezza Rice over a cartoon. The next time the tubes came up was later that year on December 7th, with some back and forth between Scarborough and Al Franken over George Tenet's slam dunk assertion. Scarborough seized on that declaration as evidence to absolve Bush of any wrongdoing on the WMD debacle. The following scene took place on December 21, 2002, and is from Bob Woodward's second book in his four-part series in the Bush administration, Plan of Attack. When Deputy CIA Director John McLaughlin concluded his WMD presentation, there was a look on the President's face of, what's this? Nice try, Bush said. I don't think this is something that Joe Public would understand or gain a lot of confidence from. Chief of Staff Andy Carr was also underwhelmed. The presentation was a flop. In terms of marketing, the examples didn't work, the charts didn't work, the photos were not gripping, the intercepts were less than compelling. Bush turned to Tenet, I've been told about all this intelligence about having WMD and this is the best we've got? Don't worry, it's a slam dunk, Tenet said. It should be incredibly telling that the President accepted Tenet's affirmation at face value. His triumphant efforts to soothe the President's concerns smacks of someone eager to please. And take notice of the fact that Bush wasn't worried about whether or not there were WMDs. He was only concerned about the weakness of the sales pitch. Tenet would later say that slam dunk were the two dumbest words he ever said. And therein lies the question. It somehow escaped Scarborough that in all his obsession over the fact that Tenet said it was a slam dunk, the real question is why he said it. Franken tried to address the tubes, but Scarborough evaded the issue by redirecting the discussion back to the narrative he wants to spin. Your guest raised a critical point, Joe, but rather than show him some courtesy and maybe even an ounce of curiosity, your very next words were, all right, Al, let me ask you this question. It amazes me that people can pull that stunt and still see themselves as a bastion of civility. Rather than take the opposition's argument into account, Scarborough skated right on by it.